Lanes. Three, two, one, go! With drivers behind the lines, we are off. Qualification match number 11 coming back from the pit stop break. The quick placement from 42, 53, straight zero on the top level. And another cone placed on the bottom level for Red Alliance. That brings Red Alliance in the lead, 24 to three. Almost five time lead, five times lead over the Blue Alliance. Blue Alliance starting off with some technical troubles from 244 Robo Dogs 3D. Creating a bit of an obstruction for the Blue Alliance. Their, robot isn't, their light isn't even flashing. This could be trouble. Meanwhile, the other Robo Dogs pampering about, pampering about, grabbing, pretending to grab a cone. You. Red Alliance, Raid Zero, lining up their arm, successfully grabbing that cube from the loading zone, swerving around the field, dodging their Alliance partner, jumping over the charging zone, charging station rather. Looks like they're picking a target, they're going for the co-op grid, getting that top level cube. Blue Alliance not being able to make much progress with a cube deflated on the field, the first deflated cube of the event so far. Minute left in the match, Red Alliance holds a 10, over 10 time point lead, 58 to five. Blue Alliance not being able to make much headway right now, run Robot down. And it looks like Robot Dogs might actually be having a mechanism issue. Unable to grab a cube. This is trouble for the Blue Alliance with another robot stuck in the red loading zone. Oh, that's trouble for Blue Alliance. They could rack up penalties for that as we enter the end game period. Looks like Raid Zero heading over. They have docked in the charging station. Uh, it, did 63-64 just push? 2088 onto the charging station? A little bit of grace professionalism on the field. 6351 trying to place one more cube with five seconds left though. Let's see if they do. Three, two, one. That is game. We will have your final score of 111 to the Blue Alliance's seven.